<laughs> okay. Welcome, everyone, to uh, today's press conference as we get set to welcome the newest member of the Austin FC family. A couple of quick housekeeping notes. After we wrap up today's presser, we will have a photo op at field level, and then we'll also have a photo opportunity of Emiliano signing the Grow the Legend wall. With no further ado, I'll pass it over to head coach Josh Wolf. Coach? Yeah, thank you. I think we're all, we're all quite excited to have Emiliano here. It's, it's, it's taken a little while, but that's part of the process. But um, the, the, the wait is, has been worth it. Uh, Emiliano comes to us, um, you know, as, as a, a very mature professional, uh, very well-traveled professional, very experienced professional, and uh, his qualities are quite clear. And it's been, a, a, it's, been getting, it's been good getting to know Emiliano through some texting, but, but obviously to put um, a face to those texts has been great. So we got him into training today, and we're looking, um, we're looking forward to getting him integrated to the squad. And his, um, his quality is clear. His personality is, is, is fantastic. And um, we're fortunate to catch a player of, of his quality and his age, and it's, it's a player that's going to make us better. And I think that's the most important thing is we brought in yet another talented player, both on the field, but a, but a very humble and hungry human being as well. So, you know, I think we're, we're all quite pleased with the opportunity, and we, we look forward to getting him integrated and certainly on the field as soon as possible. Thank you, Coach. Uh, Phil, I believe you have the microphone. Chris, please start us off. Yeah, uh, thanks, Emiliano. Ben bienvenido, a Austin. Um, it's clear. I think Josh said that that they've had you, their eyes on you for for quite a while. How long have you um, been paying attention to MLS? And um, you know, what have you learned about Austin FC? You know, both from Sebastian and from watching over the last couple months. Dice que hace cuánto más o menos que que estás viendo la MLS. Obviamente hablas con 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 Seba mucho, pero hace cuánto más o menos que estás metido viendo la MLS. Hola, buenas tardes. Muchas gracias. Eh, en principio la veía muy de a poco, de a poco, antes de que surgiera la posibilidad de venir. Eh, mm. Cuando Seba ya me comentó la posibilidad de que se podía dar eh, el paso para Austin, eh, ya comencé a, a enfocarme demasiado en la liga, eh, en los juegos, en, en, en el sistema que usaba el equipo, cómo jugaba, y me fui, me fui metiendo mucho en eso. He said, um, at the beginning, not much, after he got the call from Seba, he started paying more attention um, and starting to look at the scheme, uh, how we play, and that's how he got uh, more involved in it. And Josh, um, you know, to get a player of this quality in, uh, you know, at this point in the season, uh, you, with eight, eight games left in the playoffs, I know you've talked about you know, doing it responsibly, but yeah. what does that mean to you of, of getting uh, Emiliano worked in? Well, I think it's, it's both on the field and off the field. Any time a player, um, moves from one league to another league or from a country to another country. I think it's important that he gets acclimated, his family gets acclimated. Those things allow for a better transition and onboarding on the field. Um, you know, Emiliano was in training today and he was, he was part of most of the training, which I think we're all pleased with. Uh, we have some of the reports that he was doing, the workouts that he was doing prior to coming here. And um, over the next few days, we'll, we'll get a, a clearer picture where he is physically. But um, the most important part is getting him acclimated and certainly assimilated and aware of, of, of the way that we play and what his role is going to be in that. Um, you know, and I think you know, good players, high quality players uh, understand the game at, at a high level. And once he starts playing, I, I don't think there's any doubts what he can do. So physically just getting him to a place where he's ready to go mentally and, and physically. But um, I, I certainly don't feel he's far off. So we'll see what the next couple of days look like. And um, when he's ready, you know, in both those, in both those ways, we'll, we'll get him on the field as quickly as possible. Okay. Uh, bienvenido to Austin. And uh, you obviously you played with Seba at Zenit, so can you talk about some of the chemistry that you had with him there and resuming that chemistry here? Dice que obviamente jugaste con Seba en en Rusia, que es la química que vas a traer, o sea, el estilo de química con él, cómo te sentís y qué vas a traer al qué vas a traer al campo. Bueno, Seba lo conozco hace muchos años, jugamos juntos casi tres años en en Rusia. Y antes de eso no lo conocía, pero ahí generamos una química, una amistad muy linda, tanto dentro y fuera del campo, eh, que nos entendemos. Yo lo conozco muy bien, sé sus características y, y él conoce las mías. Yo creo que a partir de eso se pueden generar grandes cosas dentro del campo. He said before Russia, they never known each other. They met in Russia. And um, after playing three years with him, he knows him off the field uh, and obviously in the field, on the field. Um, and the chemistry just came natural to them. Um, so they're excited to both play together and uh, hopefully give us a run in the playoffs. 
And then uh, 77 is a bold choice for a number. Can you talk about that? Dice que, ¿por qué el número 77? <laughs> Porque surgió ahí una confusión de que en principio se había liberado el número 10, eh, que luego no, lo, no se lo podía usar. Y, y me obsequiaron el 21, que no me gusta. Entonces, eh, ya había jugado en Sao Paulo con el 77 y tuve una buena experiencia, entonces... Intento volver a, a recordar eso. Una, una buena temporada. He said in Sao Paulo he used number 77 and he had a great season. Um, so hopefully number 77 will bring him uh, good stuff here in Austin. Sí, Emiliano. Uh, bienvenido a Austin una vez más. Este, uh, tú has tenido mucha experiencia en, en, en varias ligas, Belgrano, Independiente, en Zenit jugaste un poquito en Italia, ¿tú crees que esa experiencia, te va, obviamente en San Paulo también, ¿tú crees que esa experiencia variada te va a ayudar eh, en, en esta nueva liga? Sí, yo creo que sí. Eh, esa experiencia que he tenido en diferentes ligas me ha hecho crecer mucho eh, mentalmente y como jugador dentro del campo. Eh, y creo que sí, cada cosa le he sacado algo positivo a, a todas las ligas y a todos mis procesos eh, en los clubes y creo que aquí me va a funcionar. Eh, esto es otro desafío muy importante y que lo quería, lo quería hacer y por eso acepté la propuesta de Austin eh, y lo voy a disfrutar y voy a tratar de, de dar el máximo. Uh, quick question for Josh, a similar question. Uh, he's got a lot of experience in different leagues around the world. Uh, do you think that's, how do you think that's going to help him adjust to MLS, uh, the, the league here? It'll help tremendously. I think when you get players that um, leave the country for the first time, there is this curiosity and, and uncertainty as, as how they'll adapt. But when you get players that have left the league and someone of Emiliano's quality and, and credibility now going to, to different types of leagues and, and having success, um, you know, certainly bodes well for, for what we expect here. He's, um, you know, he's a champion uh, playing abroad. He's, he's a high level player. And, and again, I think his translation on, uh, to us will be, will be pretty quickly, to be honest. I think he has that type of quality. He has that interaction with the players already. Um, it's just a matter of him settling in, him and his family. And then the, the, the footballing aspect, being on the field, will, will take care of itself. That's what he is naturally gifted at. And now these are the things we, we will try to help support him and get him to a place where he's ready to perform. Uh, for Josh, uh, we so, kind of saw last year how uh, adding Sebastian kind of gave a boost towards the end of last year. Do you think this can add another boost, especially with an important kind of run into the playoffs? Yeah, I, I hope so. I, I think that's part of what you want to do in your transfer windows. You have the, the off season where it's a transfer window, but right mid season, um, you've seen some of the players that have come in and the boost that they have given teams. We, we certainly feel and expect Emiliano can do that. Uh, we have eight games remaining. We're hopeful that he can play in, in a majority of those. Um, I think a player with, with his attacking quality is coming into a very good, strong attacking team already, but he will give us um, different qualities and, and different ability in the attack and much more balance. I think we have a clear uh, player and, and certainly attacking orientation around Sebastian right now. Um, but when you can have a little more balance on both sides of the field, you ask different questions of the opponent really quickly. And uh, I think that that will be interesting to work through. And obviously, we'll learn more about Emiliano as, as he's here, as he will learn a little bit more about us. But, um, you know, it's, it's, it's certainly a, a fantastic addition. It's ambitious of the club, and it shows the ambition of the club. So I think that's, you know, what we're all quite pleased with. And um, we want to make as strong a run as, as we can here at the end of the year and put ourselves in position for the playoffs to, to, to really make a run at it. And for Emiliano, I, you obviously met some fans uh, yesterday. I guess, what do you know of the atmosphere of Q2 Stadium, and what are your expectations on kind of that front? <laughs> Dice que obviamente viste algunos fans anoche cuando llegaste. Eh, ¿Qué esperas del clima en el estadio? ¿Qué sabes del clima en el estadio? ¿Cómo son los fans? No, por lo que he visto en los últimos partidos, es una afición increíble. Eh, He visto un ambiente que no se ve mucho aquí en la MLS. Y nada, eso nos juega a favor. Como club, como equipo, como a los que les toca jugar, eso es un plus. Entonces, eh, es muy importante. La verdad es que tengo una expectativa muy linda con, con la afición y espero que, que tengamos un, un cariño mutuo. He said the expectations are high. He saw, obviously, clips um, of some games and the fans are amazing. Uh, he says something that you don't see um, in other stadiums here in the league. So he's looking forward to experience that, and hopefully uh, that also gives him an extra push um, on the field, right? Go ahead, Jorge. 
Bienvenido, Emiliano. Eh, mencionabas que eh, no veías tanto la MLS. Cuando llegó Drewsy, cuando llegó Sebas, prácticamente llegó igual que tú. Ahorita es el mejor de la liga. Eh, en cualquier otro país podría ser seleccionado, pero no en Argentina. ¿Cómo ves tú que en tu país ven a la MLS? Yo creo que es una liga que se está potenciando mucho y muy rápido. Eh, hace unos años por ahí se veía menos, se hablaba mucho menos de lo que hoy en día es la MLS eh, y por eso hoy muchos sudamericanos prefieren venir aquí antes que ir a otras ligas eh, y es una de las, yo me incluyo porque obviamente tuve también posibilidades de ir a otros, a otros lugares y preferí venir aquí porque veo el proyecto que tiene la liga. Eh, obviamente Seba está en un gran momento, es un jugador que podría estar seleccionado en cualquier otra selección. Lamentablemente la selección argentina tiene una competencia muy grande en esa posición eh, y por ahí es más difícil para nosotros, pero yo creo que jugando bien y adaptándose a esta liga uno puede, puede progresar mucho y puede estar en la mira de todo el mundo. ¿Seguro no escogiste el 77 porque eres el doble de bueno que Sebas? <risa> no. Eso es un análisis que van a tener que hacer ustedes después, pero, okay. pero no, no. Ok, Josh, uh, we see you uh, happy. I mean, more than, <laughs> than any other time. I appreciate that. <laughs> um, Thank you for it. Uh, how is the connection with uh, Emiliano outside the field and, the, and, and Emiliano and the team? I think it's, it's, it's a connection that's going to continue to grow. I've exchanged, um, I exchanged texts with, with Emiliano a few times with WhatsApp. Um, we've we've put together certainly some you know packages that will show him through video what what his role can be and what he expects this to look like on the field. But um, he's he's a fantastic human being. In a short time, you can see great personality, great humility, um, which I think is important to our group. Our, our group is here. It's very much about the collective. It's very much about the work, and um, he recognizes these things right away. And for our team to be successful, um, our high our, our high high quality players have to have to come in and make an impact. He's seen what Seba's done. He also recognizes his role inside that. And we want to give him that space um, as quickly as possible, but in a responsible way. So getting him to settle in, um, getting him on the on the field as, as quick as possible uh, is, is what we're looking to do. But but we also recognize it does take time. Emiliano hasn't played a game or trained in, in, in over a month. So um, we want to get those things in place and, and, and put him in a place to succeed and help this team succeed. But. I think we're all happy that Emiliano has arrived, and now we, we work forward and try to get him on the field uh, as quickly as possible. Bob. Josh, what have you found works in cultivating a new player coming in like Sebastian did mid midseason? I think having a very stable environment. I think we have a very diverse group already within um, within our Austin FC organization and inside the group uh, that the playing group, the technical group. Um, I, I think you know providing good detail and insight to how we want to play and, and certainly the role to, to allow Emiliano to better understand that. Um, but I think it's the chemistry and camaraderie of the group that really will pull this together in, in a quick way. And I think um, we saw with Seba last year, it, it was um, it was fairly seamless. He has such a good personality. Uh, as does Emiliano. I think those things will help in a, in a, in a big way. Maxi, um, Diego, Felipe, he, he, they've already had and shared some, some time together. Yesterday they were able to get together and have a meal. So uh, off the field, uh, I think, is a big part of it. These are things that didn't exist last year, but for us and our success this year, it's been a big part of it. And um, that will continue to be, be needed from, from the players and the staff. But um, I, I expect it to, to be fairly seamless and, 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 and fairly quick. I mean, they've, they've already gotten to know each other well. And, We'll just keep working day by day to get them to a space to, to, to put them in a, in a spot to perform. Next question. Go ahead. Then we'll go to the back row. Eh, Josh mencionó que tú ya te habías este, puesto de acuerdo con, a, a una cena con algunos de sus nuevos compañeros. Eh, ¿Ya te han invitado a ser parte del mate con vos o todavía no te platican de, de lo que es? <laughs> sí, sé lo que es. Lo he estado viendo en las últimas ediciones y... Sí, obviamente, ya me hablaron de que pronto van a hacer alguno para, para integrarme y me han dado la bienvenida, así con un, con un buen asado. Claro que sí, ¿verdad? Y, y otra cosa adicionalmente en cuanto a eso, tú, obviamente es algo único, único, ¿verdad? En lo que es el, el, el Austin FC tener un, un programa como tal, ¿verdad? Donde interactúan con la afición. ¿Tú has visto algún otro o has escuchado de alguna otra situación parecida donde los jugadores tienen una interacción así con los, con los aficionados? No, la verdad que he estado en muchos clubes y, y nadie hace un contenido parecido. Nadie ha hecho algo 
de generar esa interacción con la gente de esa manera, tan distendido así, no, no lo he visto y me parece genial, porque la gente por ahí tiene la, el acercamiento hacia nosotros que por ahí parece muy lejano y a través de eso nos podemos soltar, podemos decir muchas cosas más distendido, lo, lo, es pasar un buen momento. Coach Wolf, you talked about Emiliano uh, being a player that makes you guys better. Mm -hmm. What In what areas across the board does he make you better? Well, I think he'll help generate goal scoring chances. We're, we're one of the highest performing attacking teams in the league right now, and, and he's only going to elevate that. And, and I think, again, it'll bring a different type of quality to our to our game model and the way that we play. Um, you know, we want to use the ball. Obviously, we want to try to disorganize the opponent. That's a big theme for us. But when you have a player like Emiliano who can run behind the lines but also can individually 1v1 unbalance an opponent, it starts to draw different attentions and ask different questions of the opponent. And on the right side, you could, you could have Emiliano and, and Ethan and, and certainly Alex. And on the left side, you have Diego and, and Sebastian and, and, and Manchita. So when you have variety in your attack, it starts to, to cause more problems. And, and we've scored a number of goals already this year, but we, we have to stay hungry and, and continue to push. And uh, the league... Uh, is unforgiving. So the last eight games will be challenging. The playoffs, we, we hope when we get there, we'll, we'll, we'll also provide different challenges. And the more, uh, the more quality, high quality that we have in the attack, the tougher it is for the opponents. And um, you know, we, we got to onboard them on both, both the defensive side and, and the offensive side. But uh, again, players with his soccer acumen, IQ, and technical quality, the, the, the attacking comes quite quickly. So it's just giving him a little bit of the detail defending. But um, you know, he's a tremendous player that's going to give us uh, different qualities that we haven't had thus far. And for Emiliano, what, what does he hope to bring to this team? Dice, ¿qué esperas traer al equipo? Nada, sobre todo comprometimiento con el proyecto y con lo que ya vienen haciendo en el, en el torneo, que es algo increíble. Eh, vine para sumar, para ayudar en lo, que, en lo que realmente se haga falta. Obviamente tengo mis cualidades y tengo mi, mi posición dentro del campo, pero donde donde Josh escoja que tengan que jugar, lo haré de la mejor manera y intentaré siempre eh, dar el máximo para el equipo logre sus objetivos. A commitment to the project. Um, obviously, he knows what he brings, um, like personal-wise, to the team. Um, and he's obviously looking to get that um, on the field and also whatever Josh wants him to play. Um, he, just, he just wants to add on to what we already have. Similar question, but does Emiliano just describe yourself as a player? Que te, que te describas como jugador. Bueno, principalmente soy ambidiestro, un jugador, eh, un extremo, por la, por la derecha sobre todo, puedo jugar por ambas bandas. He jugado por el medio también, en la posición donde hoy juega Seba y, y Diego. Eh, pero lo he hecho mucho más por las bandas. Eh, me gusta tener uno contra uno, eh, desbordar, y tengo buena finalización, creo. <laughs> y nada, me considero un jugador dinámico. Um, obviously, favorite position is the, the right wing. He can hit with both feet, um, so that's a, that's a plus. He also played in the middle where Seba played, uh, but he, he's very good one-on-one, -on -one, he says, or he thinks. Uh, and uh, he, but yes, favorite position, right wing. No sé si en el momento justo llego cuando, cuando se dieron las cosas. Eh, da la casualidad que justo jugamos un partido súper importante para nosotros. Eh, y bueno, eh, yo desde hoy estoy a disposición de, del cuerpo técnico para cuando ellos necesiten usarme. Me entrenaré toda esta semana para poder estar. Y si no me toca estar, eh, apoyaré donde me toque. Pero obviamente es una situación muy linda porque es, un, es una, una recta final del torneo donde nosotros no, nos comprometen muchas muchas responsabilidades y creo que tenemos todo para poder afrontarlas de la mejor manera. No me asusta Los Ángeles, para nada. Lincoln, go ahead. I'm good. You're good. Any questions along the back row? All good. Any other questions for either Josh? Bill, go ahead. Uh, Josh, any uh, timetable on when this game? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, we're we're hopeful it's quite soon. I won't I won't rule out the weekend, but it, it may see, it may be a little a little too early. But um, again, I think tomorrow and the next day will be more f full trainings, formal trainings. So we'll see where he's at. But um, you know, first things first, getting him here, getting him situated. But um, I think he's excited to be here, and he wants nothing more than to help this team start to to win more games. And and we'll 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 play it by ear, but we'll see where he's at tomorrow. Josh, how do you respond? Perfect. <laughs> Perfecto. <laughs> Perfecto. <laughs> Perfecto. Está bien, está bien. Perfecto. Any other questions? Yes, please, Jason. If you don't mind waiting for the microphone, apologies. Thank you, sir. Emiliano, what players did you idolize growing up and why? ¿Cuáles eran tus héroes futbolísticamente creciendo que vos mirabas? Primero, cuando, cuando empecé de niño, empecé a ver que podía ser profesional. Era un momento muy bueno de Ronaldinho. Eh, aprendí mucho eh, con la alegría que jugaba él y, y la facilidad. Y luego Messi. Messi para mí es mi, el ídolo más grande. Cuando empezó a jugar Ronaldinho, fue cuando he looked it up, just how happy he was jugando el juego. Estaba feliz de jugar el juego. Um, and obviously, from being from Argentina, Messi is uh, high up there for him as well. Any other questions? Go ahead. Hey, you, you mentioned uh, Argentines coming to the U.S. and, and liking it here. Uh, are you friends with any any players currently in the league? Have you been able to speak to anybody other than Sebastian about about coming to uh, to MLS? Dice que obviamente hay muchos argentinos acá en la liga. Que si hablaste con alguien más, que no sea Seba que juega en la liga y te comentó algo so, sobre la liga. He hablado con compañeros que he tenido en otros clubes que han llegado, como Alan Franco, con Barco en su momento, eh, bueno, Guanchope que jugó aquí también, un conocido. Eh, he, he hablado con varios que han estado aquí en la liga, me han hablado muy bien de la liga. Y nada, son cosas que también eh, empujan para, para cuando llegó la decisión poder tomar eh, algo acertado, ¿no? Entonces, eh, yo creo que la voy a disfrutar al MLS. Yeah, he said uh, he spoke to Juan Chope, Avila, Franco, Barco, obviously uh, teammates from the past, uh, and those were very helpful as well for him to make the decision to jump over to the MLS. Last call for questions? All right, thank you so much. Thank you, Josh. Thank you, Emiliano. Thank you. Thank you. For media and attendance, we are going to do a jersey photo op out on the field, so just follow Emily Alvarado and she'll take you.